Listen to two seminar classmates discussing their classwork. Ah, there you are. Hi, Jared. Hi, Colleen. You still got time? Yes, I've got almost an hour. My next class isn't until 3.30. That should be enough time, shouldn't it? We haven't got that much to decide now. It depends how it goes. We've got our topic, but we haven't divided up the workload yet. And we haven't even discussed how to approach it, really. I thought one of us was going to take the co-entries and the other was going to do sponges. Seems pretty simple. Yeah, well, that's fine for the basic research, but don't forget that we've got to make the presentation together. We just can't be stings and squirts, like Laurel and Hardy. We're going to have to field questions from the rest of the seminar, and from Dr. Mankiewicz, too. Yeah, and they can be brutal. So? So, we both have to have a pretty good grasp of the whole thing, the overall picture. Don't forget that the key word is comparative, a comparison of the adaptive evolution of the coentrate and periphera. It's not just how jellyfish have evolved and how sponges evolved, but an analysis of their comparative success. So I guess we need to get together and really look at that together, don't we? Yes, we sure do, and it's going to take some thinking, because I don't think we're going to find all that much material on this idea. There are whole books on invertebrate evolution. Yeah, but each phylum is kind of looked at independently. You know, at least they're in the same texts I've been reading through. Which are? Hyman's Invertebrates, McEdward's Ecology of Marine Invertebrates. McEdward's really good. He's got a lot of fascinating examples, but he doesn't really look at the one phylum versus another in terms of relative, uh, relative success. He just marvels at their individual uh, creativity. Well, that's good stuff. But we're going to have to take it a step further than that. Well, look, we're still beginning with each of us researching a phylum, aren't we? Yes, yes. That's still a good starting point for sure, but... I know. So let's get going on that then. Learn something about these critters and then try to put it together after we've got an idea of what we're talking about. We've got six weeks to do this thing, so why don't we, well, bulldoze our way through this first part in, say, two weeks? and then plan to get together a lot after that to intercalate what we found and get some original ideas. Yeah, okay. We can, like, mini-present to each other and see what angles we can come up with. Put four weeks into that, and we might have something. So, what do you like? Huh? What do I what? Which ones do you want? Sponges or jellyfish? Oh, yeah. Huh. You know, they're actually both very intriguing. Amazing beasts. Frankly, though, the coentrates look pretty daunting. They're such a, you know, range of forms and behavior. The sponges seem much more manageable. But what about you? I'm easy, really. Ha! Huh, that's funny. To me, the porifera seem kind of boring. They're so, so, sessile. They just sit there and filter. They remind me of my grandfather. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Stick it in the presentation. Maybe. Anyway, I'll be happy to take the jellyfish. They interest me much more. Okay, say, this is working out well so far. Yeah, but the hard part comes later. So, shall we look at our schedules and see if we can arrange a regular time to meet? Uh, sure. Once a week? For now, yeah, that's enough, I guess. Well, how about this time? Um, yeah, that'll be good for me. So, Tuesdays at 1 p.m.? Fine, uh, here? This will be okay, I think. Not too noisy after lunch hour. All right, then. I'll see you next week on the 7th. No, I'll see you in the seminar on Thursday, won't I? Ha, yep. Yeah, gotta go. Right. Thanks. Later.